The moon Europa is sometimes described as a veiny eyeball, hardly a flattering characterization of what is one of the most exciting celestial bodies out there. There is no place in our solar system more likely to have life. And with this paper released by NASA scientists this week, confirmation for the first time that one of the necessary building blocks of life is there, water. A research team used the Keck telescope in Hawaii, one of the biggest in the world. Over 17 days, they watched the surface of Europa and got a little lucky. On one of the days, they picked up exactly what they were looking for, a plume of something emitted from the surface. With a spectrograph, they were for the first time able to measure the chemical composition of the emission and verify that the molecules they were seeing were water. Well, you know, I get very excited about stuff like that. Canadian professor Lyle White studies polar microbiology, the type of life found in the harshest conditions. He says the plumes are water vapor, that means there's likely liquid water, and the potential for microorganisms. On Earth, even at the coldest temperatures with barely any oxygen, life can be found. This is the type of microbial community that we think could exist in a place like the, uh, uh, the subsurface ocean of Europa. Now, NASA's spacecraft, the Europa Clipper, is planned for around 2025. It's supposed to do about 45 flybys of the moon. Its instruments will be able to look through the icy surface, but NASA is also looking at one day flying through one of the water plumes to sample exactly what's in them. Or as one excited scientist put it, to almost taste it. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.